Hey everyone, so this is a psychic reading on Marina Serene, and I have no idea who this person is. I'm just gonna do a reading and see what comes up. And I see things symbolically, FYI. So I'm seeing her walking along a beach with a dog and this and it's like she's throwing this this stick for the dog but there's something here about stagnation it's like she's moving forward but she has to like bend over and pick this stick up and it's it's work for her and it doesn't really seem to be ideal there's some sense of struggle here and then I'm seeing the city behind her, and I'm seeing the city being, there's almost like this darkness to it. Um, let me see, what is her relationship to all of this? I'm seeing her on a phone now, and it's like she's, she's having somewhat of an argument. It's not really like a, f well, it's somewhat of a fight, but not like a full-blown fight with a woman here. This looks like possibly a mother or grandmother potentially. I would, um, yeah, uh, I think this is a, a mother figure here. And they're arguing about something. Um, what are they arguing about here? It's somewhat petty stuff, but it's also things that can have long-reaching implications, but it seems like kind of a petty argument. Um, and this is just about her choices that she is making. Let me see, what are these choices she's making? There's something here about her heart being broken and this it's this really devastating energy like there's something big going on here and this involves the the general public or the city is the way that i'm singing like the people in the city um and like her life path seems like she has a lot of choices to make here that she's really struggling with. It's like she doesn't know if she should, like where she should go for help. Like, should she just kind of continue on her path alone like as an individual or can she turn to other people for help there's like a sense of trauma here from the past that she's trying to figure out it's like really like alarming energy here like something tragic she's really trying to hang on and like can she trust certain organizations to accept her um and let me see when i tune into this what, what happens here with these organizations i see her being turned down and disappointed in a lot of ways because it's like um what she's about just doesn't resonate with a lot of the external help from the general public, the city life as the way that I'm kind of seeing it symbolized. And so I'm seeing her continuing down this somewhat lonely path, if you want to call it that, with this dog um, throwing the stick along the beach and um, picking the stick up and then throwing it again and then picking it up and then throwing it again and this is somewhat um you know uncomfortable because it's, it's just like 
it's not really where she wants to be, but she, that she's like being shunned by society is, is kind of the, the energy here. So this is kind of unfortunate. Let me tune more into what this is about. There's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pain coming from her family. Um, and it was like she, there's a lot of like really traumatic stuff here. And like she needs to get away and find some help. Um, I just hear her saying, I don't know what to do. It's like she's on the phone trying to contact people. Definitely a very painful picture here. Let me try and see more about what is this about. I just see her, her mother or guardian. I don't know if this is actually her mother, but someone like playing a mother role um, who is is saying no don't do that it's like no don't don't do that don't no you don't need to do that no you don't need to go on your own individual path here um and there's something kind of superficial that's set up like she's been kind of put into this mode this mold if you want to call it that um that's somewhat superficial and kind of planned out let me see what is this that they want her to do And it's like she's almost like a... a star or like being seen by the general public. I don't see her as being like a supermodel or like a pop star or something like super popular, but, but someone who is an influencer on some level who works um, within the system, um, what is the goal here? To make money, but I see her mom and it's weird, it's like, she's like licking her lips. Of course this is symbolic more than literal, but there's something here and it's like, she's like holding like this like crystal ball with her fingers but it's like her fingers are like almost like dragon hands and there's something almost kind of like sinister about this um what is going on here <laughs> i just it's like she's almost turning into like this evil like dragon or something like that and she's like you will do what I tell you um, so what is this about there's something about society here we'll march to the top of the mountain is what I'm hearing you will be like a, a a role model for others on some level is what she wants or her mother wants her to to be like but this is um to kind of push a certain uh, perspective on life um this is this is very business oriented I'm not saying it necessarily like career oriented, but more like business, if that makes any sense. It's not so much like her developing her own career and being successful in life. It's more about her working within a certain confined 
business model, not model, but specific situation here. Let me see, and this is like making her cry, and it's, it's, you know, it's not, not good. Why is her mother being like this? Let's see. <laughs> I'm hearing her say, I want to control the world, so this is about power, this is about her having her little girl, um, uh, what is going on here? I'm seeing a newspaper and her like being in the newspaper, um, things, it's almost like she's like a hitman or a spy or something like that, and this is, again is symbolic in nature, so I'm not sure exactly what this means. It could be literal, but I don't know about that, necessarily. Um, but yeah, it's like she's she's kind of operating underneath the the system, but like as a cog within the system, and this is what her mother wants her to do, but she's escaped this, and now she's like on this lonely path, and there's all this trauma, as I was saying earlier, but again, this is just what her mother wants her to be doing, this is kind of what she's escaped out of, and I'm seeing her mother as like this dragon, like, <laughs> um, so let me see, what is this about, why am I seeing her her guardian as like this dragon being. It's kind of like the fierceness in her eyes and the the desire for control and power. And it's as if there's no choice in the matter. It's like she's been brought up this way to be this way and it's like she doesn't even have an option to be any other way. It's almost like like she's in a, like as if somebody's holding a gun to her head. Like uh, Marina's mother uh, has like a gun to her head almost. It's, it's not like literal. It's not that she has a gun to her head but it's as if she's like been you know put in this situation where it's life death situation and because she's taken on that role from being put in that situation now it's become like a lifestyle now she's just stuck in it and it's become like so ingrained in her that she doesn't have any other way of being um so let me go to the people who were forcing this on her and these are businessmen um like elite businessmen um, and she may have had some, like, sexual trauma to her, and she may have lost her confidence in a lot of ways. Um, and these men, they're like, you know, suit and tie, tuxedo type people with guns, almost like, um, almost like CIA or Men in Black or something like that. Um, they, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, let me see, what is this all about? They're following orders from someone even higher than them. 
and they're just like a cog in the system. And so this is all just kind of like about everyone being a cog in the system and everyone making everyone else be a cog in the system within this whole dynamic. But there seems to be bigger goals going on here. And it's almost like making a military of people. Like if if you were to control people within society in the way you would strategically control like geopolitics, but it's within society rather than it's like the the internal perspective versus the external perspective, if that makes sense. Like this isn't about other countries geopolitics. This is about like internal control over corporations and this looks like corporations primarily. I'm also seeing organizations. I'm seeing religious organizations involved. Um, it seems to have something to do with how people think and like benefiting certain organizations that benefit certain ways of thinking and kind of destroying other ones and it's like they're trying to train her to be this vicious person who could just tear down the people that opposed their their goals their agenda here which they don't even really understand necessarily themselves is what I'm getting. Like all these people I've been reading. So let me see, where are these like elitist um, businessmen with guns? And can, again, this is symbolic. I don't know if they actually have guns, but this is symbolic. But let me see, where are they getting their orders? And I'm seeing this crystal ball again, which was the crystal ball in the mother's hand at one point. Um, so what is this crystal ball? I'm seeing like an eye inside of it. Um, so what is this? I'm kind of just saying like a, a dragon sort of situation here. Um, it seems to just represent the, the chain, the enslavement of humanity within society and human culture is what I'm getting that this represents. So yeah, so let me see. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. I don't know who Marina Serene is, but um, let me see more about where she's heading. And then when I see her now, where she's heading, I'm seeing her again walking on the beach, and this is symbolic, of course. And I'm seeing her seeing a ship coming in and her waving and it's like she's meeting new friends she's connecting with these other people from like a different land and there's something about the city where she's in that's kind of like corrupt versus this boat which is like a, again like I said a new land different people different situation it's something totally new and um, she's waving this white scarf as if like SOS but also to get their attention and so it's as if she's like I give up like I can't do this like take like I need your help it seems to be the message here um and these people seem kind of militant themselves and like very powerful I 
and they have her back and it looks like she's going to be able to get away from this um, sort of situation. Um, but there's some sort of connection with her mother still that's going to haunt her for a very long time is what I'm getting here. And she's going to be kind of drifting further and further away and finding her own seniority, her own, you know, ownership of her space. And she seems to be kind of not that popular, but still um, seen by people and still connected. And um, I'm seeing her being very uh, healing to some people. And it's almost as if she's like magic in some way. Like she can, like there's this um, sorceress type feeling to her. I see her going like this, and, like moving energy with her hands. And it looks like she's She's very much so aware of intent and how to use intent and um, like she would be able to you know, do magic, do magic work or do energy work. Um, and she's very connected with the elements. There seems to be a lot of pain and um, healing and um, going on, and she does seem like she's going to become a very um, liberated individual through all of this pain. And um, very powerful with her intent. Okay. That's a reading. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy out from this reading. And I'm going to go ahead and look her up and see who she is. And thank you to whoever it was who requested I do a reading on her. I don't even remember where I got this name from to do a reading for her. Clearing the energy out here. Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day.